How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on this channel. I ran into this problem while actually filming another video. I just purchased the uh, USB power strip here and I was trying to push an update to uh, to the device so I could demonstrate the features at the most up-to-date version of firmware. So what's going on is I press on the update button here and I press confirm and we're gonna try to do it for my other devices too because this has actually been giving me a problem for a while now but I want everything to be up to date for this other video. So you press on update and what ends up happening is they just they they do update apparently. They they go through the update and then all of a sudden the device just goes offline. Or what happens is it goes through the update and then it just says the update is still available. So I'm going to see if we can try to figure out this problem based on this other article that I found. So I'm going to share credit where it's due here, but let's see uh, at after a few moments here that this has gone offline or is telling me that, hey, you need to update again. All right, after just a couple moments after I uh, stopped the recording, uh, the USB power strip finished its firmware update and see, there it is. It still wants you to update. It never actually did the update. It's super frustrating, but I think I got the fix for you here. Now see that after I tried pushing the update to my PoE switch here, uh, this is now just completely gone offline. You can see the access point is still trying to update, but now the switch is offline. But it's really not because I'm connected to the switch on my computer here, and I do have internet access still. So let me show you how to fix this problem. I just fixed it with my power strip. Uh, as you can see, there's no more update. It is up to date. It is on the up to date firm firmware version. It's very simple. Let me save you a bunch of time. Go to settings. Go to system. We're going to scroll down to advanced and device update cache. As you can see, my strip has the cached update. So what I'm going to do is cache it for all these devices here. Now, after you've cached the updates, you go back to your Unified Devices tab and now that these are offline right now I'm going to have to reboot them to get them to come back or I have seen that if you wait about 15 minutes it will come back but I'm just going to reboot it real quick so I can just get this over with so I'll be right back alright so now after that I've rebooted my devices here I'm going to push the update to the switch and to the access point and then once I come back they should <laughs> knock on wood be good to go so give me one second I just wanted to show off real quick as well that my uh, 16 port PoE switch here is now showing on the uh, the display here that it is updating all right and after about 10 minutes of waiting we now have two devices that we're not able to update, matter of fact, three, and now they are all up to their current versions uh, thanks to the caching method here. So big shout out to this fellow right here, that Dutch guy on the community Ubiquity forums here. Uh, his process definitely worked, and I thought I would just make a video out of it. So shout out to this guy on the forums. All right, everyone, have a good day.